There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Uh, Where we're standing, you might. we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm sure it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Are you oh, sure know. about that? There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. Okay. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Uh, I'm not for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. Right, okay. Um. Oh, hey, cool boy, what's up? We're probably gonna have problems later, aren't we? Uh, I'll go. What are you doing here? Oh, no, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Look, that night... I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't helped me. Well, I could say the same to you, Lady Mira. Oh, I came here sweeties. to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night. When I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh. Oh. Oh, that was close. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. Okay, good. Thanks, cool boy. What, what is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh, oh no. That might be bad. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble, and I'll, I'll watch your back. Aw, thank you, cool boy. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Eee, thank you, hey, Tom. Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! Oh, hey. My lady. Oh, this might be bad. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. Yeah. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... All right, let's First go. All, his name let's, is uh, you know. And he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this Right, specimen. well, let's hope that things go well and I'm not, like, you know, having issues. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace? My lady, 
Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going your to grace, speak out of turn, girl... I... You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve oh. if forced to choose between yourself and the King. Yeah. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm uh. surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. Uh, I said King's the wrong guard thing. will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Uh, of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. Oh! Great. This is not going over well. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. We only shed some wine, my lady. Drinking wine with Tyrion Lannister. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You oh. went to a Lannister behind my back. I'm sorry. I've only ever tried to help you. I'm sorry. Why are you making trouble for me? Uh. Please, Lady Marjorie, trust me. I know what I'm doing. I've learned from the best. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I promise I won't speak to him again. Please, don't send me home. This can't happen again. Ugh. Oh. Oh. I don't know what to do! I'm making all the wrong choices and all the wrong answers and this is not going over well. 